We've got our Siemens 3BA6 circuit breaker set up and connected to our COM100 module, which is going to allow us to gather data over my bus TCP. Now, a really cool feature along the way is their power config software. Let's go check it out. Now, a really valuable thing when you're reading stuff over a Modbus is to know what it was before it went over Modbus TCP, because sometimes everything doesn't get lined up the way we expect it to. So Siemens has a software called Power Config, which has some amazing capabilities. So let's go and Google Siemens Power Config, and that's going to bring you to the Centron Power Config on their website. And near the bottom, you're going to see Power Fit Config is available free of charge. Now, the one catch to this, and this is why this one is very important that you go ahead and register here your um, Siemens login before you actually need to use it, is it is only available in certain regions. And I don't know what all regions it is. It was available in the U.S., but once you're in the correct region, then down at the bottom, you're going to see the download power config. And then let's click the search accessible devices icon. And then make sure you're on the right network adapter. So in my case, I have three different ones. And the one device I'm looking for is on 192.168.20. So I want to be on that one. And then I'm going to start search. And immediately that COM100 comes up. So I know it's out there and I know its IP address is 192.168.20.84. And we're going to go ahead and load selected device to PC. Now that gets us connected to the adapter. Now on the other side of it is the breaker. So we're going to right click that COM100 and then we're going to add and then we're going to grab that 3BA26. And that puts that inside of it. And now let's go ahead and click the go online button. And, oop, okay, can't execute measuring because I did, I forgot to go tell it exactly what the communications was. That's okay, we can do it right here. So let's hit settings. And yeah, it wants to know, hey, I got a computer here and I got a breaker here. And how do you want me to get there? So we're going to hit the go offline button. And it's going to ask for our PC interface first. And we are going to use Ethernet RJ45. And then we are going through a gateway. And since we already found it, it knows it's right there. So we'll select it. And the address is 126. So now we can click the Go Online button. And it's going to warn you that the configuration is different. Do you want to make the project match the hardware? And yes, we do. And that gets us connected all the way through here. Now, where it says communications up here, hit that drop down. Then we could get a lot of good information off of this. So I'm just going to go to measurements. And this will tell me the various measurements of the system. So I've opened up current, go to instantaneous, and we'll just go to the greatest measured values. Then we can see the greatest measured values. We can also see that I need to set my time. But uh, we can see we have a current imbalance on this, and that's because we are actually feeding 120 single phase through a three phase breaker. But you can get some really good data on your system. And all of this can be pulled out into your PLC or into your HMI or SCADA system. But now that's going to give us some nodes that we can go find in this Modbus TCP data then map it over and get it worked out. So click here where we're going to learn how to pull this Siemens data into a CompactLogix or ControlLogix PLC.